Greetings. Oh, good day, then. My dearest cousin, I am so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, your excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Burren is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. <sighs> Dear allies, knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. And regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance. Without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no, I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine. We cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Fruchtemann. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? 
I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vigigador, and a Danegad full of wisdom. I am certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree, as strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donigada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? Yes. Something rather disturbing. He talked about you. He said his existence was in danger because of you. Really? But that doesn't make any sense. I never hurt anybody on this island. Unlike our neighbors, I have never abducted or tried to convert islanders. I don't think that's what he was referring to. Cousin, please, you know me. I have made some mistakes, but I never threatened anybody. The only person who I put in danger is you. And you know how sorry I am about that. Yes, I do know. Forget about it, will you? This god manifestly wants us to pay for the sins of our fathers and to have his revenge for the invasion. By sowing the seeds of discord between us, he's probably hoping to weaken us. Do you realize that you have succeeded where everyone else has failed? The whole continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? You told me that during the ritual with Katasach, you felt the bond he'd created. It's true. And it was an incredible feeling. I felt like I was every blade of grass in that remote place. I could see everything, feel everything, and I knew that I could bend the trees to my will. Do you still feel that way? Yes, but in a more dull, muffled way. The first time, it was surreal and perfect. In fact, I don't know if there's a word for it. The first time? The first time it happened. Now it's as if I've become used to feeling this bond. I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon.
Your Excellency, I'm very sorry, but I can't let you in. For safety reasons, people from Teleme are not tolerated at the palace. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, of course. I'm so dangerous that I could attack the palace all by myself. Lord Desade, I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hikmed. I am ashamed to once again rely upon your kindness, but our situation is quite desperate, and you have proven such a valuable aid to us in the past. How might I be of service to you? Animals, creatures, have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night, they do not even try to avoid our weapons, rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue, the others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in question? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer, who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. I would like to broach a rather unpleasant subject. Your treachery. I beg your pardon. I am at a loss for words. Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your savants that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tierna Hakadactus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the witch doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You are even ready to use brute force against your own allies. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you that to assassinate a legate is to declare war against his sovereign? I never... <laughs> I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your spy. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. Once again, I apologize sincerely for this crime. It should never have happened. In any case, we need to get our hands on this woman. The remedy is perhaps... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase. Perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... That is terrible. 
This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I've taken care of your problem with the caravans. The merchant should now be able to reach Hikmet. Captain Rainhild has sent a message to that effect. She has told me that you have shown yourself particularly efficient dealing with these savages. You have my complete admiration and my gratitude. My pleasure. I imagine the captain must have informed you of all that we learned. Indeed, and I am extremely worried. An attack of any significant magnitude would be a catastrophe for our city. We have the means to repel these savages, but it will not be without great losses. Perhaps there is another way. The natives have clearly expressed their wishes. The freedom of their brothers and sisters. I see where this is headed, but I fear that they were not honest with you. A few natives are being held in the prison of the coin guard, but a handful of warriors does not seem to justify an assault of such commitment. They were not speaking of just a few soldiers, but of kidnappings. The victims are only villagers. This is inexplicable. We have taken no villagers. Of course, we answer their attacks in kind. And at times, we have taken prisoners on the battlefield. But what use would we have for a few fishermen, hunters, and weavers? Might it be possible that these kidnappings have taken place without your consent? I doubt that. But of course, it is always possible that a few bandits might have stolen a shipment of arms. If that were the case, that would explain a great deal. Since you have been of such service to my people, and this grievous affair seems of great concern to you, would you be of a mind to lead the inquiry? Capture a few of these savages. Make it your mission to make them talk. We must understand what is going on before they attack. Very well. I shall get to the bottom of this affair, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Can you tell me anything about Aphra? Don't mind me. I'll just count the shadows. There now, my dear. You know that I have nothing but praise for you. Aphra is one of our greatest naturalists. Her knowledge is infinitely precious to us, and we are happy that she is among your party. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Governor Burren asked me to investigate the abductions the rebels told us about. If we could find the origin and free their comrades, I'm sure they would stop their attack. I need to locate and speak with the other rebels. Do you know where they could be? No. They don't attack often. I fear they're gathering their forces. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers, with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorts. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my... But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect us. So you can go and tell the Governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us. Maybe we can avoid going to the Governor and save time. There aren't many of us, and I don't have any soldiers to give you. But perhaps I can still offer my help. We were supposed to receive a shipment of ammunition and medicines, but we're still waiting for it. If you can bring it to me, we would at least be able to heal ourselves and have enough bullets to sustain these assaults. Do you know where this material came from? From your city, New Serene. The caravan transporting it was supposed to pass through here two days ago. It must have been attacked. But with a little bit of luck, its cargo should still be intact. Very well. I will retrace the path. It shouldn't be too difficult to find it. The three of you won't be able to bring the crates back by yourselves. Two of my men will accompany you. Please, hurry. Without them, we're even less likely to hold. We're departing right away. Could you tell me again what it is that you expect from me? We were supposed to receive a shipment of ammunition if you Do you know from you. It must have been attacked. Very well. The three of you, please. We depart. I must go. Goodbye. Soldiers, are you the ones who are supposed to help me search for the caravan? Yes, Your Excellency. We're ready to leave as soon as you wish. I'm ready. Let's go. We'll follow you. of a heavy carriage it must belong to our caravan let's take a closer look now is not the time this looks like the place the carriage left the road there are also some animal prints they were being chased they must have tried to escape them by taking the small path. Let's follow them. I hope that those who are accompanying the caravan are still alive. 
You have witnessed the violence of the attacks we are sustaining. They must all be dead. I'm more worried about the potions. If they're not They're all dead. They were torn to shreds. But the cargo is still here, and it looks like it's in good condition. As for the carriage, it's damaged. And without it, we'll have a hard time transporting this to the outpost. Do any of you know how to fix it? There's a lot of work, but I should be able to do it. It'll take some time, though. The beasts may come back at any moment. Make it quick. I'm starting right away. And don't worry. We'll protect you as long as necessary.
There. I did what I could, but it should hold. And now we'll have to drag it all the way to the outpost. Let's depart before more beasts arrive. Here you are. I don't know how to thank you. Our cargo has finally arrived. With this ammunition, we'll be able to hold back the assaults, and the medicines have already given a boost to three of my men. It wasn't an easy task, so I'm pleased that all this has been useful to you. Here, take this. This is all I can offer to thank you, but I give it gladly. Thank you, Captain. Now, can you tell me which way these trackers went? They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Denea Exregal? If you like. The Governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks, so I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them, but now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. I must go. Goodbye. Hello, Captain. Here. Governor Burren asked me to investigate the abductions the rebels told us about. If we could find the origin and free their comrades, I'm sure they would stop their attack. I need to locate and speak with the other rebels. Do you know where they could be? No. They don't attack often. I fear they're gathering their forces. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here. And we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region. And these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... You knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this.
I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path, as if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. We need to find out what's making these beasts so aggressive before they overpower this part of the island. We? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come, follow me! To my help! And death to the I wanted to see what do you they, we, we, why that Mal our what? I can't hold on! 
I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It looks strange. As if it was sick. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... Um, I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. Then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Duren. Now, let's go tell the governor of Hikmet about this garden. Qua awalem segre And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him.
Your Excellency, have you been informed? I've been told, yes, that the attacks have ceased. Hikmet has been saved thanks to you. Was it the natives as I suspected? No, they were not the cause and were also victims of the attacks and their losses were great. The animals answered to the call of a guardian whose behavior was totally unlike the others. I've never seen anything like it. It was as if it were drunk, possessed by an unquenchable thirst for blood. These creatures normally protect the natives, answering their call. Why did this one attack them? Are you certain one tribe is not attempting to dominate the others? I don't think so. The Guardian looks sick. No native would treat such a creature like that. There is no doubt someone is behind these attacks, but currently I have no idea who it might be. I suspect you will lead the investigation and unravel the mystery, as is your custom. While waiting, take this. It's nothing much, but consider it a gift to thank you for your help. Without you, the population of Hikmet would have suffered terribly. Thank you. I'm happy to have helped you avoid a massacre, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. <laughs>